Bill, you guys, I think, seemed to really pick up energy as the game went on. Can that be hard to do with the kind of slog of the season? Uh, I don't think so. I thought we were really energetic to start. I thought we were just not very good. Uh, uh, I thought we were too geeked up, made some bad plays, and, and uh, you know, they made shots early. Uh, they actually shot the ball well for the most part the entire game, but they made shots early, and, and uh, uh, we didn't defend them very well, and then we were so sped up offensively. But, you know, we, we that's a good team we played. I mean, they're good. And, you know, the last 30 minutes of the game, I thought we played pretty well. Bill, there was a moment when uh, Brad came in in the second half and Perry there at the free throw line, Perry kind of gave him a, a flex. It was like a very un-Perry-like thing to do. Uh, what, how much growth has he had during the season? And I mean, he's going to be your one consistent during this kind of rough patch you had. Well, I, I, I don't know if I totally agree. I don't think we've had any consistent uh, in, in the rough patch. If you go back and watch tape and study tape the way we want to play, sometimes – it gets a little bit skewed because you, if you score points or make shots, you, people assume you play well. And as, that's one thing we've been trying to, to, to get through our guys. But, you know, Perry was, I mean, he was, a, he played great today. You know, he, he played great. He was aggressive. He drove it. I, 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 thought, I personally thought he got a fou fouled a few times on drives that, 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 that weren't called, but, but that happens a lot. There's a lot of body contact today up high I, I, a lot more so than most games as far as kind of collisions as guys shoot it so that you know you got that verticality deal and trying to make that judgment but but uh, I thought Perry was was really uh, aggressive and he I mean you can break it down however you want to that was a different player tonight than it was at Oklahoma State so how much did you like the persistence of your team you made two or three runs that they held you off at you know that yeah. you didn't catch and pass them at that point in time and kept after yeah I thought I thought I thought we I thought we played with great energy. I thought we played pretty poised uh, after the first 10 minutes. Uh, uh, I thought we executed pretty well. And I thought our, you know, our, our defense and rebounding was better uh, today, even though they made shots. But I, I, thought, we, I thought we showed some toughness, uh, considering that, that uh, you know, they had total control of the game. And not very often you're down 21-7 to at home. Uh, or whatever it was, I think it's something like that, and and then you know you you get you get it back to 23 all if I'm not mistaken, and then you kind of putter around and, and go in down five. But I thought I thought we played really well the last 30 minutes. Well, what flipped the switch when it was 21-7? Right? You start you start feeling obviously as the score gets closer, you start feeling better. But I mean, what what did you see happening that was? Well, I, think, I think I think they probably missed some of the same shots or made didn't make some of the plays that they had made earlier and then you know the the lid came off the basket you know when when you're when you're playing at home a lot of times there's more pressure to win at home uh there's no doubt about that especially for our guys and and uh uh you know the lid came off and and you know it's a you know guys could relax a little bit because we were a very uptight group uh, to start that game Landon told us about you telling him he was going to start. You mentioned some things he had to do. Rebounding, I guess, was obviously the main part here looking at his line. Yeah, Landon you? played great. You know, he played great. He, he uh, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we obviously didn't play guys today and and because I thought this gave us the best chance to win. And, and uh, uh, you know, we went with our veterans. And I, to me, I mean, you guys may not feel this way. To me, this was the most important game of our season thus far. Uh, because it, 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 we needed to eliminate the negative momentum uh, because we, we were in a r rut, we were in a funk, and, and certainly I thought our experience gave us the best chance to do that. And, and I thought Landon played very well. If, if, if he just studied little things that he does in conjunction to what we're trying to do as a team, he, 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 he played well. And, and I actually thought Mari came in and, and did some good things. And you know that position combined for two points. But they got 15 rebounds, and, and uh, so that that was a big plus for us. You know, we were much better on the glass. You know, we haven't been a good uh, uh, defensive rebounding team in some situations in which we struggled, and 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 tonight, you know, they they miss uh, uh, 29 shots and, and get five back. So that that was that was much better. Coach Texas gave a couple different looks defensively. How many? What kind of adjustments did you yourself have to tell the guys to make in game? Well, we we worked against, you know. 
everything that they did. Uh, but what Texas did early in the game I thought was so good. They they saw Prestis or Prestis and then you cross half court and then they may trap a ball screen and, and then if you're trying to run a play it's too late. You know there's 15 left on the shot clock. I thought that was really smart and so and then when we were struggling we were laboring and then we just kind of go one on one or do something to get a shot at the end of the clock and 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 I thought the second the second half and even after the first 10 minutes we we got more comfortable as far as attacking their stuff uh, initially and not worrying about what they're in. This is just what we're going to do. And, and and go attack it. Well, I I I don't think you run a different offense for each defense, and so uh, uh, and tonight we didn't do that. For the most part, uh, we just kind of came down and played after after we kind of got going. Coach, is there anything? What's the best thing or easiest way to get today's effort to translate into Monday night? <clears throat> well, we'll get it. We'll we'll give it a similar effort. You know, we may be tired, but you know, Iowa State's playing right now too, and and they're in. Fort Worth, so they'll be tired too. Maybe, uh, 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 you know, the, the the thing about it is in, in sports, and I, I've, I've been I've been doing this for a while, and you guys have been following it for a while. Some things are not really explainable. I don't know how this, you know we can make a big deal out of. Well, what's the answer? Well, hell, I don't know. Uh, 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 and you don't either. But you'll write like you do uh, 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 a lot of times. So, uh, the, the, who knows what the answer is? I mean, who knows if if, uh, if 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 you know you don't you don't talk about whether or not a guy had the flu symptoms. You know that's not an excuse. You know you don't talk about whether or not there's something going on at home that could affect you. You, you don't talk about if it, if it's mental fatigue from from whatever. Which I think you know we've had combinations of different things. And and but if you play, you got to perform. I mean that's the bottom line. And and uh, you know for the most part this year. You know, we got a really nice group of players. There's no question about that. We we probably don't have the 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 elite NBA sock guys like like maybe some of the teams we've had in the past. But we've got a whole bunch of really good guys. But if we're off a little bit, our our our, our performance level can go from here to here just real quick, just being off a little bit. And and uh, you know that's certainly been the case. But I don't know of a team out there in America that doesn't go through that. The key, the key to having great seasons is win the games when you do do that. And and that's the key to having great seasons. And and uh, you know we obviously didn't. You know West Virginia we could have played well and, and lost. Uh, uh, we didn't, but we could have. And, and and Oklahoma State, you know they were better than us the other night. So I mean, some of that stuff was just them being better than us. Uh, uh, but I do think with this particular group, and we talk about it in the past, if if if, if we play with energy. Which your energy isn't going to be the sim, you're going to be the same for every game. But if we play with energy, it gives us a chance to look good. If we don't, we fall fast. And and I think that's basically the bottom line. But I think it's more life things than it is, uh, you know, anything in particular that there's something wrong. I, I I just think it's the same thing everybody goes through. Bill, along those lines, if you just over your time, don't you see every year periodically, maybe it's about this time, at, at a time where you know there's going to be a little funk and a rut, you just know it's inevitable, you got to... Well, you don't want it to know it. You know, we won a national championship and lost three out of five. You know, we we won the league and lost three in a row in the league. I mean, we we've we've had, we've last two years we've lost at West Virginia and Okie State and won the league. Uh, uh, you know, but but that doesn't make it uh, make it excusable. It, I mean, by any stretch, but you know, the thing that I think that the, the uh, that I wish the media would 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 really grasp is how good our league is. I mean, you can play pretty good and get your butt beat. Our league is that good, and 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 the separation between uh, uh, us and whoever else it's minimal. It's less than it ever has been. And so, you know, you, you know, when when you guys were watching the game tonight, if if you're just an honest Spectator had never seen us or Texas ever play. You look out there and say, "Ooh, who's better?" It's hard to tell. You know, it, it's hard to tell. So because they got they got guys and and they got they're quick and and athletic and and that's the way our league's going to be uh, uh, certainly uh, uh, moving forward. And and you know, oh, you got a huge win today. That was a big big win. And and uh, you know. Texas Tech takes West Virginia to the wire and, and, and ends up uh, losing. But yeah, their games are going to be ridiculously competitive uh, all the way down the stretch. And so, but it's not always uh, uh, it's not always because somebody's doing something bad. A lot of times, just because somebody's better at you at doing it that particular day. That's great for the league, isn't it? Well, it sucks for us, but it's but it, but it's no, it's great for our league. Yeah, it's it's great for our league. 
No question. Coach, similar personnel for Iowa State, but different coaching staff, obviously. What have you seen? They do similar or different? I haven't studied them like I, like I will. I mean, I've watched them, and, of course, I'm totally uh, – they score as easy as anybody in our league. Them and OU score the easiest uh, uh, without question. Uh, they can run bad offense and come away with three points, and they got a guy that creates a problem for whoever he guards. If you go big, he does this. If you go small, he does that. So uh, – um, you know, but they, they, they're, they're a great team, and of course, it's a huge game every time we go to Hilton, and it'll be a, it'll, it'll be a jacked atmosphere. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I actually think they're, they're better defensively uh, than what they've been. Uh, but, you know, that's just me saying that from the little bit I've seen. But, and, 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 you know, Steve will switch it up and do some different things and play some zone. But it, it, it'll, be a, it'll be a tough game without question. They got really good players. What do you think about <clears throat> improving to 209 at home? Uh, yeah, I was told that. Uh, I guess I did know it going in, but I didn't realize it until after the game. But, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, uh, it's better than 199 and 10, uh, uh, which it looked like it could have been today. But, you know, all that is, a, is a re, you know, all, all that is, is a reflection of having better players for the most part and, 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 and a great home crowd. Uh, uh, but, you know, it's, 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 a, it's something that we're proud of, but, but uh, you know, it, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't have any significant meaning to me at all. Is the league, the league balance and the league strength, though, being able to grasp that, is it harder because of what you guys have done in here? I, I think people look at our league as not being as good traditionally, nationally, because you've had a, a – you know, even you know, it's not fair to the other teams. Like, like, uh, and and I'm not I'm not on a soapbox promoting other teams, but when K State won the league, everybody talked about well that was Kansas eighth or ninth in a row. Well, they tied us, but nobody talked about that. I mean, we've gotten recognition from from and and, and benefited from exposure when other people have done really well in our league too. Uh, and and uh, uh, you know the the. Uh, and, and, and people don't realize this. Uh, you know, I, I said this two or three years ago. Since I've been here, I think there was only one team that, before we did the, the switch uh, to the big, you know, the big t whatever we are, are now, 10 teams instead of 12, I think there was only uh, two teams that hadn't been to the lead eight or the Sweet 16 since I coached in the league. I mean, how many leagues can you got some leagues where a team maybe never been to the NCAA tournament? We're talking about only a couple of teams that haven't ever advanced and in, 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 into the second weekend. I mean, that, there's there's so much balance here, and, and I don't think people grasp with that because I think people hang on to how many Final Fours, and, and, and I think they, they put such an emphasis on that they don't really understand the balance nationally. Coach, Devonta had a couple of big threes down, uh, down the stretch. Uh, can you talk about how much he means to the team and energy he brings? Well, you, you know, you, tonight you talk about, you know, four starters playing an uh, unbelievable number of minutes. They're, they're all equally important. Uh, uh, Frank is in his way, and, and, and Devontae is in his, and, and Wayne in his, and, and Perry in his. And, and, you know, tonight we're fortunate. We had four starters play really well, you know, those four, and, you know, struggled to win. Uh, uh, but Devontae, I thought, Showed a lot of poise, and, and I, th I thought those shots he made. You know, Wayne made some big ones, but I thought those shots he made were, were maybe the most timely shots of the game. You mentioned that he he's kind of the vocal leader and likes to get the guys energized. Is that all on him, or did you notice that in him kind of itch him to bring that out? Uh, well, it's 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 something. You know, we we've talked a lot, and I've talked to them specifically, Frank and Perry, and and and. Uh, and uh, Wayne should demand Devontae be the vocal leader because their personalities won't let them do it. They should demand that, just like Devontae should man, demand certain things out of those guys. And, and I think if they start holding each other accountable, I think you'll see our leadership improve because Devontae is, has the most personality, but he doesn't have the most dominant personality. Those other three do, uh, uh, in, in, or, or at least two of them do. So Devontae's got to understand we need him to do this, and they need him to do this, even though he may look at Frank, right, Frank? You know, when he tells somebody to do something, but he's still got to be the guy to, to get them, to get them uh, uh, energized and lead them vocally. Do you anticipate a similar rotation? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't think that we're going to play 12 guys, you know, uh, uh, but, but I, I, don't, I don't know if it's similar or not. Uh, 
you know, to me, you got a, a big guy in there. Landon's the most equipped to guard him. You got a, a, a pick and pop guy. Somebody else is more equipped. So it, it'll probably just depend on how matchups are. Is the uh, heavy minutes for those four players something you can lean on, or is that have, is that a little too much? Uh, probably a little too much, but I see other teams do it. OU does it. Iowa State does it. You know, uh, uh, so uh, uh, you know the most important thing is in these situations. You, you can ask our players; they they put they put a lot of effort in, in, into this. The most important thing this isn't a you know popularity contest or you know everybody feel good and have cookies and milk after the game. You know, the the most important thing is to win. And so, whatever gives us the best chance to win, this is what these guys want to do. So, ideally, it's too many minutes, but we'll we'll see how it plays out. All right, coach. Okay, guys. Thanks. Thank you.